Baptist Church. Let's all take our uh, hymnals out and turn to uh, 271. Let's all stand and sing, Standing on the Promises. Standing on the Promises, 271. Thank you. 
long time, but we haven't been supporting missions. And of course, as we look at our giving, the Bible talks about giving our tithe, okay? A tithe is a portion of our income, and that supports God's work at this church. And uh, some people take their tithe and they send it to other places. You know, we want to send it to Kalal or some other place. That's not your tithe, okay? That's your offering. Because the tithe always goes to the storehouse. The Bible teaches storehouse giving. That means this is the storehouse. This is where you get fed. This is where you get, uh, you experience your spiritual growth. So really, we have an obligation in the new year to give to the storehouse. Okay, I don't know where you give, but if you want to give beyond that, uh, it's your offering. It's a free will offering. But the thing we haven't been doing for a long time, we haven't been supporting missions. And so I think in this new year, maybe even starting next week, and something you can think about is, okay, I'm going to give my portion, my income, my tithe to the Lord, okay? Then, beyond that, how much can I give to God maybe on a weekly basis, okay? And how much can you trust God for? How much are you willing to give? Maybe 10 bucks a week. Okay, that'd be, that'd be $40 a week that, or a month that you give. Or whatever you determine it is reasonable for you, whatever the Lord directs you to. But I think in this new year, you know, we supported missions at one point at, at our church, $30,000 a year. Okay, I don't think we're going to reach that. But we're not doing anything. And really, our mission is not only reaching our neighborhood, our friends, our families, our co-workers, but we also have an obligation but I'd like if you just to just just think about uh, you know people uh, people spend money all the time. I mean uh, the the good illustration is uh, every time you roll into Starbucks, how much you spend when they say uh, pick up your coffee, right? <laughs> if it's a regular coffee, it's probably three bucks. If it's a latte, whatever they're all called, it's probably about six or seven bucks. And people do that every day. You know, they probably spend about. $30 a week driving through the, $40 a week driving through the uh, Starbucks, uh, pick up my coffee, okay? So really, there's money that we have that we can juggle, I'm sure, and give. But we really need to think about in this new year, not only supporting the church, which you've been here long enough, I never really make an appeal for money at all. But the main appeal is that we need to support missions. And supporting missions means that I give my portion, my tithe to the Lord, but then beyond that, how much am I willing to give, or how much can I trust God for to support uh, missions? Our friend Philip uh, used to fill in for me here and there. We all know him. He moved to Georgia. Well, he he uh, used to work for Blue Cross Blue Shield, and you know, with all the economy uh, changing, he he uh, they actually no longer working for them. He's a private contractor working for them, but they cut him loose, okay? So now he's full-time doing his ministry and asks that we uh, could consider supporting him. And I'm sure there's others that we could support as well, determined by how much people are willing to give. So uh, anyway, that's a free advertisement. <laughs> so at this time, we'll take the uh, morning offering. And really, it's something to think about. I mean, how much can you give, or how much are you willing to give in this new year? It could be $10 a week. Even $10 a week is $500 a year. I mean, that supports a missionary. Even $5 a week. If it's $2 a week, it doesn't matter. Whatever we, we have, that we can do something, uh, make a greater impact in this world. So, uh, Phil, would you like to pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we are most gracious to be in your house this morning.
The first one says, Come, now is the time to worship. And then we'll do Jesus Messiah, then Hosanna. On the third verse, we're going to stand up, okay? <laughs>
Psalm chapter 46. If you want to know where it's at, it's in the Bible. <laughs> That's what John always tells everyone when he's got to answer questions. It's in the Bible, right, John? Yes. <laughs> Justice Roberts 
uh, went to Epstein Island. Okay, you know about Epstein? Okay, Epstein Island. He's got that out there, okay? This guy would not be putting this stuff out there, I'm sure if it wasn't true, because they'd sue the, the pants off of him. They already got a billion dollar lawsuit against uh, uh, Sidney Powell. A billion dollars, okay? And she didn't even do nothing. But what you see here, forget the politics of it, okay? So you got this man in there who said, hey, there was a covert operation. They went in and got these laptops. Uh, you got uh, General Flynn, they asked, they had an inter interview with him. They said, what is the likelihood that the president is going to be reelected one out of ten? He says ten, okay? There's other stuff that's out there. I don't know how this is all going to work out, but believe me, if Biden becomes our president, he's already compromised, he's already in cahoots with China, he's already him, his son, all this stuff is out there, okay? I mean, what you have here, what you have is a big picture, what I'm trying to give you, it's not politics. This is where our country may be given, going. It's not about who's a Democrat, who's a Republican, because most of these guys are compromised and you've seen them vote, right? They're not, they're not good people. You see the court system is, is totally, is totally, I mean, they wouldn't even, they would not even listen to one court case, the Supreme Court. Of, of, to resolve the election issue. So you got that that's compromised. What you see in government is, is really, okay, now they, they just censored the president. They censored anyone who comes out and says anything about uh, anything political. They just took all these people off. What you see before our very eyes is, if this, is the, if this follows through and he becomes president, what you see before our very eyes is all our rights being taken away as American citizens. And you see censorship. Where do they censor people? Where don't you have the right? The, amend the, uh, we, the amendment says that we have the right of free speech. We have the right to worship. We have the right to bear arms. Wait a minute. They are going to take that. They're already taking that away from us. Uh, YouTube has scrapped everything. 